Today we're looking at a 2012 Silverado 3500 6.6 .6 diesel. Poor exhaust. Exhaust fluid quality is poor. Oh, we scanned like 19 modules. Everything's normal, no DTCs. The thing I wanted to look at was NOx sensors. We'll see what they read after we fire it up. Also, the uh, exhaust gas temperature sensors are all reading pretty normal. Appropriate for the outside temperature. Here we are on the passenger side of the truck and we're going to replace the downstream NOx sensor which is located right here. That's it. And the rest of the sensor is plugged into the exhaust. Here's where the magical cleaning happens. We got the front half is the SCR which is what the uh, exhaust fluid works with. And then the back half is the DPF, that's the diesel particulate filter. And up here on the top, right here, this looks like an oxygen sensor. That's your NOx sensor, which also senses oxygen. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna try is a crow's foot on my socket wrench. So this part right here spins Kind of figure that to happen. Alright, there's the old one. Let's open the new one. Plug looks the same. Pretty much the same. Alright, let's put the sensor in. Lock it in place. That's in there. We're not done yet. Okay, we're sitting in here. Engine running. Everything's normal. No DTCs anywhere. And we're going to go to uh, system diagnose, engine control module, actuation test. And we're going to go down here to reductant system, reductant fluid quality test. Why is this not working? Sensor 2 is 83C. Oh, NOx cat temperature. Does it have to be below 90 or above 90? Because we have to have these sensors up and running for the reductant test to work. So I think it has to be above 90C. There we go. We're getting something now. Reductant injection inhibit reason none. Okay. Now if we say on, reductant fluid quality test is still not requested. Sensor 3 and 4 are still... Come on, sensor two. Let's take it for a quick drive, I think, to get sensor two up. There we go, now it's starting to read something. We have reductant working, it looks like. Let's request the test. There we go. DPF regen active. All right, let's. <laughs> the condition that sensor two should be less than 90 C is wrong. It should be greater than 90 C. Got to take it for a drive to warm it up. We're doing a regen test or it's doing the exhaust regen filter clean basically 
You notice that sensor 2 is a lot hotter than sensor 1. That's because the cat is burning off the fuel that it's adding to the exhaust. All right, it's officially been over an hour. I think it's time to stop it. Let's try hitting the brake. It says interrupted. Okay, we're starting this test again. It's 7.54 p.m. The last test, the DPF regen ran for about 60 minutes. So hopefully it doesn't run the full 70 minutes. I was just sitting here and the RPMs came down, but it says interrupted. And this is at 9.01. I had like three minutes left in the test. I guess maybe we'll try again tomorrow. Third time. So when you go into reductant fluid quality test, it's going to say uh, before starting the test, the engine coolant should be above 50 C. E the exhaust gas temperature sensor 2 should be below 90 degrees C. Uh-uh. And it's important not to leave the vehicle unattended, blah, blah, blah. The test may take 20 minutes or 70. When the engine returns to normal from idling, the test is complete. Unless it says interrupted. Let's warm this up and then run the test. Well, after 66 minutes, it did it again. It says interrupted. I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe it timed out. Time to do more research and see if I can figure this out. Fourth time. We've gone through like a quarter tank already. All right, we're driving now, and we're getting some better exhaust temperatures. We're up to 621, and uh, before, when we were doing the 1900 RPM thing, just sitting there, we were only getting like 350C, you know, and it'd occasionally go up to 390, but, you know, now we're hitting 630C, so uh, I think it's doing a good job doing the regen now. We'll see if this will complete a regen here and then we'll go and try again and see if the uh, reductant fluid test will work. Oh yeah, 621. All right, we're transitioning to 65 mile an hour max speed now because we ran out of mileage. But we successfully ran the, the uh, DPF regen and we got temperatures between 600 and 725C. So that should have cleaned up the DPF nicely. It record running the reductant fluid quality test again so we're up to 330c on sensor 2 but while we were driving we got between uh, 600 and 725c hopefully this one does it and it works we're starting this one with a little bit low fuel we're supposed to be at least 15 percent but right now we're at 18 percent fuel remaining gpf soot mass 11 grams that's down from the 30 it was saying before and we'll leave it in this screen while we remain for the remainder of the test show live data we started this a couple minutes ago it's 320 now see how long it takes yeah hot dog check that out it passed and it only took uh, like 12 13 minutes sweet i think we're done here guys